The saint of the day is St. Ewald and Ewald. The two priests were companions, both natives of Northumbria, England. According to the examples of many at the time, they spent several years as students in the schools of Ireland. They entered upon their mission at about 690. The scene of their labors was the country of the ancient Saxons, now part of Westphalia, and covered by the diocese of Munster and Osnaburg and Paderborn. At first, the Ewalds took up their abode in the house of the steward of a certain Saxon, Earl of, or Earl Dermon. Bede remarks that the old Saxons have no king, but they are governed by several Eldermon, who during the war cast lots for leadership but who in time of peace are equal in power. The steward entertained his two guests for several days and promised to conduct them to the chieftain. They intended to convert him and so affirmed that they had a message of considerable importance to deliver to him. The pagan Saxons witnessed these activities of the Christian priests and missionaries and began to suspect that the Ewalds planned to convert their overlord, destroy their temples, and supplant their religion. Inflamed with jealousy and anger, they resolved that the Ewalds should die. An uprising followed, and both priests were killed, were quickly seized. Ewald the Fair was killed quickly by a sword. Ewald the Black was tortured and torn limb from limb, after which both their bodies were cast into the Rhine. This is understood to have happened on the 3rd of October at a place called Aplerbeck, today a district of Dortmund, where a chapel still stands. When the eldermen heard of what had been done, they became angry and fearful of reprisals. They punished the murderers by putting them to death and burning their villages. They died in 695. St. Ewald and Ewald pray for us. Praise be to God in all things. The gospel today comes to us from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus said to him, Go. And do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, when reading this passage, I'm often reminded how quickly we throw the baby out with the bathwater. How we find, uh, we go from one extreme to the other. Uh, like the priests, we follow the letter of the law but have no mercy, or we have mercy and no letter of the law. And yet it is our Lord's uh, words in Matthew 23, verse 23, when he says, quote, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You cannot do one and not the other. It is not only corporal works of mercy or, uh, or our religious piety and practices and the law itself. It is both and. We must remember that. We must find that balance and avoid those extremes. 
Find the balance today. Amen. Praise be to God. Hey, coming up after the break, Jim Havens, he is the host of The Simple Truth, a radio show heard on the Station of the Cross, our partner here at the Guadalupe Radio Network. And we're going to conversate about the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, as well as the Boston Men's March coming up this month. All that and more coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. 